And so, we find ourselves at Monokuma Rock once again. Damn right. Looks like everyone's here. Huh? Is this it? Shouldn't there be more people? Damn it. Stop it. You're making me depressed. Stupid fool. You're making me depressed! Um. So, it is going to happen again. This cruel conflict where we must doubt our friends. <laughs> but once we're through with this, we can go back, right? That's right. That Monokuma bastard said so, didn't he? He said this is the last class trial. Damn it. We've been tricked every step of the way. There's no way I can believe that easily. Of course not! Why can't you believe it? The guy who's making us do all this is saying it, you know? You know, right? That's why I'll definitely survive. If we really can go home after we deal with this class trial, That's I'll definitely find out who the killer is, no matter what. Even if I have to pull out all the stops. What the fuck? Why are you here? Haven't realized it yet. Whoa, what voice is that? <laughs> you haven't realized it yet. That feeling of wanting to leave this island, thinking like that is Monokuma's trap, you know? Huh? What are you saying? Got it? There's no way Monokuma will end things here. He's planning something far worse. <sighs> Stop trying to jinx us. I'll pick you up. Damn right, stupid rabbit should just shut up. Everyone, you mustn't run away from despair. Huh? I have finally realized, after losing my powers, I've realized that cursing your powerlessness or your fate accomplishes nothing. The possibility may be small, but as long as there's a possibility, you must face it in order to become someone who can be proud of yourself. So, I will fight. <coughs> huh? What's her deal? Um, I do not really know, but she seems different from before. Maybe she read a self-help book. Wait. But her eyes. She looks so determined. You. <laughs> what can you tell just by looking at those button eyes? Uh. Anyway, make sure you turn off Minimaru. It'd be annoying if he started talking during the trial. Huh. Aw, fine. But still. Somehow, I understand what Monami is saying, I think. Anyway, let's get going to the last class trial. Yep. You're right. We need to fight as much as we can. No matter what hopeless truth awaits us in the end. Roar! Escalator! <clears throat> this is the end. I kept saying those words to myself over and over within my mind. I entered Monokuma Rock. Yeah. This elevator ride. This will be the last time for this too, right? I hope so. Well? Let's worry about things after we're finished. You are right. More importantly, we must focus on the class trial before us. Killer managed to kill someone like Nagito. There's no way this is going to go smoothly. I mean, I still can't believe one of us was able to do that. Um. Nagito was problematic in many ways, but he was also a valuable asset during the trials. Yeah, you're right. In fact, during the Funhouse ordeal, we were completely dependent on him. But even if he's gone, the ones who survived needed to stand and fight. <clears throat> we must fight. And then, the door slowly opened. The bright light greeting us? Is this the light of hope? Or the light of despair? Well now! Um, welcome to Shadow Moses' trial room? Well then, now that that chatterbox Nagito is gone, there are only six of you left! Shut the hell up! Enough, just fucking start this already! Hey! Hey, this is it, right? This is really the last class trial, right? Yep. It sure is. <laughs> so you gotta show some enthusiasm and make sure you give it your all. All right. Didn't I tell you? He said it. This is the end. 
Ellipses. Now then. Let's get this trial started. Viva killing! This is the last class trial. Let's show some enthusiasm and kill each other. This is the fifth class trial. According to Monokuma, this is also the last class trial. That curtain is about to rise. Nagito Komaeda, the ultimate lucky student. When I first met him, I thought he was a nice guy. He came across as very sociable. <laughs> but his true nature held such a demented thought process that was nothing like his outward appearance. He said he believed in hope more than anything else. He said he was yearning for a powerful hope that can overcome any despair. He said he would even help despair just to prove that hope will never lose to despair. And he said he'd become a stepping stone for hope. His way of thinking was completely screwed up. But there were also times he saved us too. Someone like him was killed. That was the end of him. And I have no idea at all who did it, but... There's no way we can end this without knowing. We will be consumed by despair. That's why we absolutely have to find out. The person who finished off Nagito. The killer who murdered Nagito. In order to return from this despair alive, we need to reach the truth. And if Monokuma says this is really the last class trial, then that's all the more reason we need to do this. And so, this life-threatening trial, billowing with hope and despair, the last one has begun. <coughs> Alright, I think I have some new skills now. Why can't I use my skills? Oh, wait. <laughs> Alright, so I have a lot of skill points and very few skills to actually use. So I've got... Infinity Unlimited Flame, which I cannot combine with cheat code. Okay, what's the difference? Time limit doesn't decrease even if you shoot a statement with the silencer. Well, that would basically just let me spam silencer shots, so we're gonna go with cheat code. Reduce damage to the influence gauge when you miss. Cool. And that appears to be all. So, there we go! <laughs> Let's go! Two skills after the whole game. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. Who still needs this? During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. For all the people who decided to start with case five. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the Blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. <laughs> Ellipses! Oh my! Monami? My cute little sister? You're awfully quiet. What's happened to you? You've ascended the ladder of adulthood and reached the moon? Because you're a rabbit? All right. <laughs> one more time. Jeez, how about this one? Random punching. This will be my final blow. It's useless. Please stop. I feel bad for Monomi. You're right. Now is not the time for me to horse around with Monami. The class trial has started, after all. The victim this time is Nagito, who is attempting to reveal the traitor for everyone's sake. Who in the world killed him? I'm so curious. If he was killed for trying to reveal the traitor, that traitor is obviously the killer. They were trying to shut Nagito up. No, that might not be it. Uh, huh? Are you trying to protect the traitor? They didn't call out when we were in danger. Wait. Don't tell me you're the traitor. 
Don't say something so stupid. There's no way in hell I'm the traitor. <laughs> now that's more like it. Why don't you guys hurry and start arguing already? The traitor and the killer who murdered Nagito is here. Right? Are they the same person? Or... Uh, I guess we're gonna go ahead and debate it. Many different bullets. Let's see what the we killer got. killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. The reason Nagito's body was covered with wounds... It's because the killer tortured Nagito. Okay. So that's why he was so beat up. What were they trying to find out by torturing him? Definitely the bomb's hiding place. If so, the suspect... Is whoever found the bomb first! That was Fuyuhiko. Um, I, think who... I found it by coincidence. Whoever found the There's bomb no first is probably what someone. I disagree with. Was it really torture? The Let's take a take look Nagito's at the mouth. trial journal here. Okay. Both of his legs were tied with rope. Each was tied to a pillar, which prevented him from moving. His thighs were also covered with a lot of stab wounds. I think it's, um, we need to disagree with they were trying to get him to... It may not even have been torture, because they duct taped his mouth, didn't they? I'm telling you, they were torturing him! Let's the reason this. Nagito's body was covered with wounds... It's because the killer tortured Nagito. But they no, duct taped him before wrong. they did that. But Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape, so he wouldn't have been able to confess anything. Because the blood was not under the duct tape, so how, why would they torture him if he could talk? If he couldn't talk to answer them? If he was being tortured for information, they wouldn't have taped his mouth like that. I'm prepared. One of these this early? Ah, oh, I just realized it. It's a trap. A trap? Stupid, Hajime. You got caught in that trap. Stupid. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with duct tape. Like but I'm said, not sure. If Nagito's mouth was taped shut. You obviously, Oops. assume you couldn't talk, but that was the trap. He wanted to hide the fact that he got interrogated. What's like you said, Nagito's mouth was I hate these so much. It's talk, so difficult. Right? But that was the trap. He wanted to hide the fact that he got interrogated. There we go. But if you tape his mouth shut, how is he supposed to answer anything? Pay attention. This is how it went. First, the killer tortured Nagito and got information about the bomb's location. Then, after they killed um. him, they duct taped his mouth shut. It's gonna be duct tape Ooh, there. Close, you guys. Because they didn't guys do it afterwards. The there's blood underneath, or there's no blood under the duct tape. Pay attention. This is how it went. First, the killer tortured Nagi and got information about the bomb's location. Then, after they killed him, Can't, uh, Damn it! I can't hit the statements like with swords. Said, this is such a strange way to debate. Talk, right? but that was yeah, no. the trap. Oh, I have to go all the way back through this part again? But if you take this is so counterintuitive. How is he supposed to answer anything? Pay attention. This is how it went. First, the killer tortured Nagito and got information about the bomb's location. Right, just leave that alone. Then, after they killed him, they duct taped his mouth shut. No, I was thinking. Crap. Ah, why is my brain not working hey, tonight? This is how yeah, shut up. The killer tortured I know the answer. It's about just... the bomb's location. I'm just not fast enough then, tonight. <laughs> after they killed him, there we go. Allow me to cut through those words. Logic words, they're not working for me. No. There's no doubt Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape before he was beat up. Because there was no blood under the duct tape. What did you say? Who cares about the duct tape? We might as well settle this with rock, paper, scissors. We don't need to play a game. It's clear the duct tape was on his mouth before the torture even began. 
Why do you always side with Hajime? Do you have a crush on him or something? She has a crush on justice! Are you in elementary school or something? You were with us when I peeled the duct tape off Nagito's mouth, right? The blood on Nagito's face wasn't under the duct tape, remember? The blood on his face came from his arm wounds. Which means the duct tape was on his face before his arms were even wounded. And the duct tape had a lot of crinkles around his mouth. He must have been struggling to open his mouth under the duct tape. Perhaps the duct tape was used so he wouldn't be able to scream. Then it's like I said at the beginning. The tape wasn't for torture. It was to keep his mouth shut. However, if they wanted to seal his mouth, they did not need to hurt him with such ferocity. They probably had a deep grudge against Nagito. Then, are you saying the killer was trying to make him suffer? If so, it's friggin' crazy. Did they go psycho or something? No, they didn't just go crazy. Whoever did this must be one crafty bastard. Or genocide, Jack! If not, they wouldn't have taken the time to set fire to the crime scene and destroy all the evidence. Hmm? The warehouse fire was for destroying evidence? I can't think of any other reason. But who could have done that? I have my suspicions, but I'll hold occurred, on to them for now. Everyone I think I'm in this getting ahead room was gathered in front of the warehouse. Yeah. And right after I opened the warehouse door, the flames started burning from the very back. Which means it is plausible to think that nobody here set the fire. The killer isn't one of us. But that's not the case, huh? I mean, it's wishful thinking. Even if it was only a coincidence, the timing was just too perfect. Based on the pattern up until now, we should suspect that some kind of setup was used for this. Some kind of setup? Like what? I... I do not know that. But that has been the pattern before. That's our Miss Sonia. You have such an amazingly high intellect. Alrighty then. Let's think about this based on what Miss Sonia thinks. Is that okay, Miss Sonia? Stop calling her Miss Sonia! Damn right it is! <laughs> okay. The reason for the fire, huh? They're right. We need to clear that up first. Uh. The direct cause of the fire was... The oil lighter found at the crime scene, right? We don't know the that The killer used some kind of setup. He lit the curtain on fire with the lighter. Some kind of setup? Did they use the oil as an improvised fuse? They probably just threw the lighter. I don't think so. Based on the shape of that oil lighter, it can stand upright while the flame is lit. If they tipped over the lighter in some way, it could have ignited the curtain. Way? Maybe they used invisible thread. No. There should have been a way to tip it over with sound waves. No, what's the wrong one? <laughs> or perhaps opening the door caused. There we go. I'm glad I, I missed with that, that. bullet. <laughs> I also agree that opening the door is what started the fire. Just as I thought, it was the wind pressure. A dust devil blown here from glorious Japan. Sonia, are you okay? No, not wind pressure. They probably used the Monokuma panels. A huge number of tipped over Monokuma panels were found at the crime scene, right? It looked like they were scattered everywhere, but some were laying on top of each other in a single line. Just a single line leading from the warehouse door to the fire's origin. Does that mean anything? The killer probably arranged those Monokuma panels to create a domino effect. Domino effect. You mean those tiles kids play with by lining them up and tipping them over? In place of those tiles, the killer used the Monokuma panels. So when we opened the warehouse door, the first panel toppled into the second. And from there, they fell like dominoes until they reached the lighter at the end. But wouldn't it be obvious that those big panels were falling over? That's probably why they turned off the lights in the warehouse, so we wouldn't notice them. So the reason the warehouse was dark was to hide the domino effect. And one more thing. 
There was something else the killer did to hide the domino effect, right? That would be... Uh, let's see. I'm guessing that would be the MP3 player, because it's, uh... Prevents us from hearing it. I see! You're talking about the MP3 player, right? That him blaring throughout the warehouse masked the sound of the falling panels. The inside of the warehouse felt even darker because our eyes were still used to the bright sunlight outside. Within that darkness, a loud hymnal blared throughout the warehouse at full volume. Hey, do you guys hear something? Yeah, it's really damn loud. Does Nagito like listening to this depressing crap? No, I'm not talking about the music. And, as if on cue, it suddenly started. That's it. So the strange sound was actually the sound of the panels fallen. But those sounds weren't the only strange thing, right? Looking back on it, it was also strange when we opened the door to the warehouse. It's fine. I'll open it slowly. No, that's not the problem. Seriously, it'll be fine. With those words, Akane brushed off everyone's warnings and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. Huh? It's not opening. There, something blocking the door? I can barely open it. I knew it! It's a trap! Seriously, just stop it, okay? Didn't I tell you it'll be fine? I just gotta use a little more force. What happened to opening it slowly? Akane ignored their protests, and with a mighty kick, the door flew open. So the door was being blocked by a Monokuma panel. And when we opened the door, the domino effect started, and the falling panels eventually reached the lighter. Yeah, and that's how the warehouse caught on fire. At least, that's how it looks. You don't look so sure. At the time, Akane mentioned that she could barely open the door. Because the panel was blocking it, right? But the blocked doorway, there wasn't enough space for a person to fit through, right? Is that a problem? It's a major problem. I mean, that door was the only entrance to the warehouse. If that door was the only entrance to the warehouse... I see. So the problem Chiaki's talking about is... The killer couldn't have left! See. panel was so close to the door that it could barely be opened. Then it would the cause the game to the skip. warehouse wouldn't be able to leave, right? Now that you mention it. Does that mean they were hiding inside? Who? We were all outside the warehouse, you know. The, based on the patterns up until now, I believe some kind of setup was used. You don't have to think so hard. There's actually only one person who could have possibly done this. Huh? You don't mean... But if that's true, this murder... Um, Hajime? What do you mean? The person who set up the domino effect inside the warehouse. There's only one person who could have done that. And our lucky guess is... Nagito Komaeda! What if it was Nagito? Why'd you bring him up? 
He's the victim, you know. He wasn't just the victim. Maybe. Huh? Not just the victim? What does that mean? He was the victim. And he was the perpetrator, too. Maybe. Are you saying this was a suicide? D d don't be stupid. His body was covered in torture wounds. Or did you already forget? Are, are you saying those were all self-inflicted? But Nagito might do something like that, don't you think? It seems a little extreme even for him. That takes a lot of guts. That's not the issue. He was tied up, remember? Even for a creep like Nagito, it'd be impossible for him to tie up his own arms and legs. Yeah, you're right. Y yeah as long as you understand. <laughs> it seems we need to discuss how Nagito was able to tie himself up. N need to discuss? <laughs> you know, Fuyuhiko has grown on me more than almost any of the characters in this game. I don't know why. He's just, I, he's one of my favorites at this point. It's, it's, maybe it's just that he went from completely absent from the party to like Mr. Bro by the end of it. That's not necessary at all. No matter how much you think about it, it's clearly impossible. Plus, he also seems to be, like, smart, but just not anticipating the insanity that is this franchise. Every time something comes up, he thinks about it like, you know, a normal person would. He's like, he can't tie himself up. What are you talking about? Like he said, it seems impossible if you think about it, but I feel like I'm overlooking something. And swirls of debate once again. I'm gonna go with the burned rope, because I have a feeling about this one. To actually tie up your own arms and legs. That's obviously impossible! Tying just the legs is one thing, but tying both arms would be impossible. Uh, it would be. You couldn't do much with the free arm. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. How no. about if you use your teeth? No. Or if you use your front tail. What? Dirty joke! Is that a dirty joke? Oh my gosh! <laughs> he tied himself up with his dick, Your Honor. If your assumption is that Nagito committed suicide, it is correct. Nagisho should have tied himself up too. Nagisho? Uh, I can't talk. I can't think. I need tie coffee. Up your own arms and legs. That's obviously impossible. Tying just the legs is one thing, but tying both arms would be impossible. Okay. Yes. You couldn't do much with the free arm. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. How about if you use your teeth? Or if you use your front tail? All right. Uh, dirty joke. Is that a dirty joke? I think it's that if he were by himself. But I, I don't necessarily disagree with the idea that he was by himself. To actually I just think he... Own arms and legs. That's I think somehow he used, he like used a burned rope Time to make it look the like the rope had been... But tied and then he was burned but then he actually impossible. just tied a rope around his arm you couldn't do much maybe with the free arm. so i don't know how to say that with what i've got here it'd be impossible if you were by yourself yeah, that didn't work crap all right hang on to actually tie up your own arms and legs that's obviously impossible tying just the legs is one thing but Tying both arms would be impossible. I, just, I know what I need to say, I think, but I just can't figure out how the game wants me to say it. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. How about if you use your teeth? Or if you use your front tail? Dirty joke! Is that a dirty joke? Oh, I'm so confused. Okay, hang on. Let's look at the, let's look at the menu here and see what we've got in the way of truth bullets that I can look at for the trial here. So we've got Survival Knife, which was stabbed through his hand. I, he can't... He used his hand after the knife was stabbed through it. So maybe I'm wrong. So let's see, he's got his left hand, which is tied up. Both legs are tied up, and his right arm was tied. But the rope was just tied around his arm... And he had a burned end of the rope attached to that. Which is what I was thinking, maybe that wasn't actually ever tied to anything. He just burned the end of it with the lighter. 
to make it look like it had burned up in the fire. But then that hand was also stabbed with a survival knife. Um, which means that hand couldn't have been used to tie up the other arms and legs. Unless he tied everything up, then stabbed everyone. But then how did he stab the knife through his hand? That's confusing. Okay, Spear of Gunnir, I don't think that's relevant. Monokuma plushie. Again, no, it didn't start the fire, it didn't, or it didn't uh, tie him up. I'm so confused. Alright, let me just look at it this one more time and think. To actually tie up your own arms and legs. That's obviously impossible! Tying just the legs is one thing, but... Tying both arms would be impossible. Okay, I agree with that, but... You couldn't do much with the free arm. He didn't tie up. It'd be impossible if you were by yourself. How about if you use your teeth? Or if you use your front tail? Dirty joke! Is that a dirty joke? Oh, I just don't know. So, hang on. What are our options? Nagito says something first, and then he says, even if you were by yourself. We know it's not by yourself. I really think this burned rope is the key. That's why I'm harping on it. What to is the other thing? tie up your own arms and legs. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna feel real dumb. <laughs> no, that's it's, wrong. it's that simple, isn't it? Hold on a sec. Isn't that premise flawed? What? I mean, it's no mistake that his arms and legs were... See, this is where I was. I just got the wrong thing. I couldn't put it together. No, it shouldn't have been both of his arms. The rope on his right arm was completely burnt up. Based on that, you can't say he was tied up. That was just burned by the fire. He should have been tied up before then. It burned because of the fire. Like you said, it might look like that. But that was part of the trap. There's concrete evidence that proves it. Proof that the burnt rope on Nagito's right arm is a trap. That would be his right sleeve. Let's see. Take a close look at his right sleeve. Even though the rope was burnt up, his sleeve wasn't burned at all. Wouldn't you agree? A burn like this, no matter how you think about it, is unnatural. That rope was burned in advance so it would look like it was burned in the fire. Then Nagito's right arm wasn't tied up, right? He was able to move it freely, right? Yeah, I threw myself off because I got off on the whole tangent about the knife, but I think I just needed to go one step at a time. Yeah, that should be the case. Hajime, that's awesome! I'll let you cop a feel if you want. What is it with you in trying to let me do that? Akane, you should not give it away for free. Make sure they pay you first. Sonya! That's definitely wrong. Fine. I just gotta get a Benjamin from him before I let him touch me, right? Japan doesn't even use those! That's not what I meant. I'm talking about Nagito. <laughs> I mean, even if his right hand wasn't tied up, the knife was still stabbed into it, you know? It's impossible to stab a knife into your right hand with your right hand. Ah, that much is obvious. Hajime, you, you tricked me! Give me back that Benjamin! What? Not only did she try to charge me, now she wants the money back. What the heck? Uh, hold on. There should be a way. Then hurry up and spill it. If it's something lame, I'll make you give back to Benjamin with 10,000% interest. Um, a way to stab yourself in your right hand using only your right hand. It's okay. There's definitely an answer for this. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna start with the knife itself and move forward from there. Even if Nagito's right hand was free, how could he stab his right hand with his right hand? If he threw the knife into the air no. and let the knife fall, could he stab his hand that way? I don't think so. I don't think that's how he did it, at least. Is he a throwing knife expert? A boomerang knife? Maybe he propped the knife somehow and slammed his right hand down on it? No, because it was propped it I mean, onto it what? Up. Or like if the he just was propped up. the knife, he could have used his bound left hand. If you're tied up, your arms won't bend that easily. 
We don't know if his left hand could even reach his right hand. Thinking. Oh, thinking, 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 thinking. What do I even have? Even if Nagito's right hand was free. All right, hang on. Let me look at some of these things. Monokuma plushie. Has blood on it. He stabbed the knife into Monokuma, but that's a huge hole. That doesn't seem right. How could he stab his right Plushy. hand with his right hand? Oh, here we go. Wait a minute. If he threw the knife into the air and let the knife fall, could he stab his hand that way? Maybe. Is he a throwing knife expert? I just don't think that might. Maybe he hmm. propped the knife somehow and slammed his right hand down on it. Propped it onto what? So it's just making my palm he hurt hearing about this over and over again and thinking about it. He could have used his bound left hand. If you're tied up, your arms won't bend that easily. So I have to decide what to do. Oh, I'm getting distracted right shooting hand. down these panels. Um, I mean, words. Ah, I can't talk. All right, let's try agreeing with right hand was the free. dropping it thing with the blood in the hand. Although I don't right know if that's what he right did. Because then what was he using he to put the knife, the knife up into there? The air and let the knife fall. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. It's wrong? I don't think so. Even if Nagito's right hand was free, how could he stab his right hand with his right hand? If he threw the knife into the air and let the knife fall, could he stab his hand that way? Is he a throwing knife expert? Maybe he propped the knife somehow? Alright, I'm gonna take a bathroom break and <laughs> think about this.